Okay, so today I'm going to do one of the centre parts of the signature. I've taken one of the pages from the kit, the background one. So I quite like that because I can put something, you know, flowery and all that on the front there. And I thought because I've left it white, I haven't tea stained this one because I've just printed out extra pages. So I thought I would do it up. I am going to put a bit of gesso on and gesso this as well. Oh, that's going to go in like that. So I don't need to do the back because that's the only bit you're going to see there. Yeah, I'm just thinking I could have a pocket under there and a little tuck spot in here. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, great. So, yes, I am going to use gesso if I can find it. There we are. So I'm trying to use up all my bits now. So, and I'm going to sort of put some stain on and everything. I'm going to use this brush and I'm only sort of going around... I'm not going to worry about the middle because that's going to be there, isn't it? So, I'm not going to totally cover it either. I want bits left so that the stain, you know, reacts differently. Don't really want that there, that lump. Clean up a bit, get those dry. I'll be back. <laughs> right, so they're all nice and dry. So what I'm going to do first, I'll do that one after while well, this one's drying because I'm going to decoupage this napkin that I've got left on the middle there. Um, I am going to cut it down. Don't need to do all that. I might come down a bit like so. So that rose is on the top there. That's great. Let's have a look. It's about there, isn't it? Okay. So, yep, yeah, that's going to go in there. And so, I use this one up as well. Um, and there we go. And I've got the little one. Oh, that just fits in there perfectly. Look, brilliant. put some cling film on the top of that one I forgot so Right, back to this one now. I've just got a bit of green. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm inking it up and everything. I can say I've got a bit of green tissue paper or something. Actually, I'll just go for the lighter one first. I'll go for the ink one. Okay, I'm going to ink up around the outside. Yeah. Yes, it'll look quite dark doing this, but I'm going to add some water, add some stamping. And because there's gesso underneath, we can make it move a bit so it won't look like this when it's done.
Right, what stamp should we do? Oh, let's use that one. Tim Holtz. And um, archival. That's fine. All right, if I've got any left on here, shop. Put it in one of these. That's what I do to clean my stamp off. <laughs> right, a little bit of water now. That should be dry. Pretty good, that one. And then... Okay. Work your magic. <laughs> so. There we go. Look at that. Good old Jesse. Okay, give that a dry. Okay, I'm gonna ink up a little bit more around the edges now. That's absolutely perfect, we can see. So, okay. okay, so that's all dry. And while that was all drying and that, I put the lace on, okay? like so and i'm going to ink up i'm not sure what i'm going to be putting in here yet so i will not do any more to this until i know that's how i work when i do things ahead like that but you know when you look at this on its own you think oh yeah it looks a bit grubby over there as my eye is drawn to this bit but when you get your bit of paper and it's going to be stitched down in there it goes yeah, so that's going to be a nice tuck spot there, and I'm going to have tuck spots in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is stitch along there. Okay, um, I can actually stitch that on there. That'd be fine, but I do need to stitch that bit there. Okay, and then we can stitch it in. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. So, stitch there first, and then I will be stitching in there. I know you'll see it on here, there, but like I said, I cover that over, and I don't mind a bit of stitching, and that I actually think it looks quite nice. So, yep, I shall go ahead and do that. That's quite simple, that one. Okay, that's all, um, that's all done now. Okay, lovely. So, that'll be going in there. So, nice journaling card and tuck spot there. So that's that centre done. So, on with the next one. That's the page there where I must probably put a pocket on there or something. Not sure. Yeah, I'm just going ahead and doing, you know, a few bits and pieces. Getting in the mood. <laughs> and, like, here will be something as well. I mean, be all sorts going on. Okay. All right, I'm going to do the, the next middle insert. So, I thought that this one, this bit of paper... I'm going to cover it with net and have a pocket to put things in. So what I do is, I mean, it's not a fantastic shape piece, but that's all right. I want that about there. And what I'm going to do, yeah, so we're a bit about right. I'll just cut this down a bit. I've got a little bit overhang there. So I'll just cut that up there. Okay. And then... I will add some net to the top. Yep. So, not net. I shall put that on the top. OK, 
Okay, and I will glue that and stitch it. Actually, I could just stitch it if I pinned it. No, I'll, I'll just put a bit of glue on to hold it in place. Or oh, I'll do it with that, actually. That would be great. That hold it. Okay, and we'll stitch that on in a minute when it's dry. So that will then be the pocket once I stitch it on. So I'll have it hanging down. So it'll be sort of like that. And then I'll stitch these sides, stitch the bottom, and then we've got a nice pocket there to put something in. And I'll most probably stitch either side of the middle. Yeah, so I'm tighten up that lace then. That's going to be fine. Yep. But I've got to leave that alone for a minute until it's dry. So while that's drying, so I'll have a look at something else. Um, I'll just have a look at the other middle pocket. Uh, what have we got here? I've just got paper like that. Okay. Um, tuck the spot there. Okay, that's okay. It's the middle here. Um, oh, I think I might have double pocket with some as a paper. Yeah, like a V-shaped pocket. I've done that before. Okay, I'll find some paper. Here's that dried, and I stitch that through the top okay while well, that was um doing because i'd chosen the papers i wanted from the kit those are going to go there so i just cut them down and i've got i've got some bits that can be used in the pocket somewhere else so there it's going to go there like so and i'm most probably a bit later on have a embellishment here as well but i'm just going to literally stitch that on today so uh, oh, I'll do this one first now it's here. So let's, I'm going to put just a little bit on there. I mean, if you're not sewing, then of course put a bit more. I might. Let's have a look where we are. I like to do mine into, oh, I've got a little bit of overhang there. Yeah, stay away from here. Okay, yep, a little bit there, not much. That's all right. What to me? Okay. And I always put a little bit over there, so I've got a little, that's reinforced. Or you can just put some book pages on. I do that quite a lot, so... I might um, also, when I stitch this round, I'll back these onto some coffee stain paper and they can be two pockets as well. And then I'll stitch around them. Okay, so that's at that one piece of paper. We've done that. Yeah, so now I've got to do a stitch in there. Here is this bit here. I think it's that way. Gosh, I can't see. So good, both sides. I think it's that way. There we go. <laughs> and I am going to have that hang down a little bit. Right, okay. I'm going to do this with glue stick. Just a bit there. Just to hold it down. <clears throat> I'll start bringing my blind down. I've got to get the cobwebs out of the way first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a very old building. 17 something here, was it? So, yeah. Um, what I do with things like this, I will stitch there. Then I will go to that side and pull that across. Okay, and 
tighten it up a bit and stitch there and then I will go down the bottom. Okay, just find, or else sometimes if you go all the way around, this sometimes looks a bit odd here because it's slipped and things. But again, oh, let's go the other way. Funny bit down there. Let's look. Cover that funny bit then. Right, so that's all stitched, okay? And you've got to remember, this is only a thin piece of paper. All right, so what I'm going to do, and also because it's plain, plain, if you know what I mean, I'm going to apply tags in there. And I'm also going to put, this is freebie on the Facebook group, to back that, to strengthen that page. And I'll keep that nice and straight then as well. And it looks good on, you know, as a flip, because we've got plain here. Yeah, and then there's going to be nice tag on the inside there. I've got, oh, I've got a couple here, look. Um, I've actually got bigger ones than this that I've made as well, but I just, these are quite nice under there. One time they have something on the top, you know, you can pull them out quite nicely. They will look nice there. It's lovely. Right. And if you want to decorate this anymore, but I quite like the way that's looking because this is so pretty, you know, I wouldn't put anything else. But if you do put net and you want to decorate and you've already stitched it, just pop a bit of acetate underneath and then you can glue things on and you don't stick the pocket together. <laughs> yep. So I'm going to put these on here. Get it the right way. I saw myself put that upside down. Okay. So I'm going to ink up around the edges of that one. And here we go. That's that one. Yep. So it brightens up that area, doesn't it? Doing that. Okay. So that was that one done. Then I've got... This one's not finished yet, but that's as far as I've got at the moment. Like I said, most probably put some lace or something down there. Okay, but I've actually got to go in a minute. I'm going to... Um, I've got some little bits. That's the one I've done. So it's got to be in. This one here. I've got some little bits of paper I'm going to collage as I go along. I think just to clear the decks because they get put in somewhere and then forgotten. So I am going to make something. Ah, hold on. Let me see. I have to swap that around. Right. Okay. That's going to go like that. I didn't like how that looked. So we can. Yeah, I need to put some more um, pattern papers in, in this one by the look of it. That feels like it's upside down. Is it not? No, it has to go that way. Because it attacks. Right, okay. <laughs> yep. That, yeah, that's better. So look, make sure it's all going the right way. Yep. You know, cover it with pattern paper or do things, but yep, that's working all right. I don't know whether I said I've just done the put a bit of lace on okay and stitch down so oh let's check everything's upside down now there we go okay perfect right um what else did i go oh i went into my coffee stain drawer i literally went to the bottom so these were <laughs> in the bottom oh and i found some nice scrapbook papers that i thought would go well, I've got um, a page in each of them, and then this is the bit that you cut off, so we're doing something with those. I've got some guest checks here, and I've got these papers. I think these were gifted to me, so I'm not sure whether they'll fit in yet. Depends how fat the journal gets, but I've got two of those. And I've got these, and they were in the bottom, and I've got this. Print quality is not fantastic, but I'm going to... back. Um, Mount them, put some buttons on, and they're going to go in as well. And I most probably put some varnish over it, so it makes it a bit shiny. I quite like that shiny look. So, yeah, I'm going to do them up as well. I'm not sure whether I can make a... I thought I might, might make a pocket out of this first. So I want to do that. 
and the pocket to get to say two or two two pockets in right let's have a look they've all been coffee stains so just a set for that one definitely do something with that let's put these in yeah i mustn't forget those if i forget them please comment <laughs> in a in another video saying andrea remember what you said you were gonna do and tell me <laughs> right i'm wondering whether i can glue stick this together okay so that it's flat and then make one of those sort of like just sort of tuck spots yeah and then maybe stitch around there and then that can be glued in and we've got a nice little tuck spot okay and i think the glue stick might help with um can we can actually line it with vellum um or tissue paper of course but i'm just thinking it might be okay because it's going to be stuck in the journal so do you know what i'm going to give it a go so um i do need to go on something though oh i've got a bit of acetate here that'll be fine that'll be great all right and not to rub too hard because these are quite brittle Right, what I'm going to do, uh, where should I stitch? I'm going to stitch first, okay, like there, all the way around there, okay, and on the top there. I know you can have double pockets doing this, but this is too thin, so. Just wondering whether to sew a bit of lace on there. as well right let's see what we got need a nice bit of thin lace it's very delicate very thin so yep that's going on there do that before i stitch it so i do i can't remember where i got square doilers from they're really hard to find actually i have a feeling it was carol tinson i'm sure she done some at one point and they're a little pop-up shop so thinking I might put some lace on there as well um let's see what we've got here that might be nice yep okay wait for that to dry okay i'll leave that alone i'll stitch that in a minute um what should we do now should we cut those cards out because i do want to use those where did i put them <laughs> oh so i'll go ahead and cut those out and find something to back them 
with. Thought I might as well um, show you what I do here. Okay, now these, um, gosh, this is one of my first digitals ever. Five, five, six years ago, something like that. I'd done button cards because I had a real thing about buttons. I've got some, um, I've got loads of vintage buttons, but I want to use these shell ones. There's some like really nice shell shell buttons in here and i thought they would look nice so hopefully they're not too there's oh there's some flat ones i've got some that are a bit shaped a bit curved i won't use those because they don't lay flat um i haven't done it brilliantly yet because i round all the corners and ink the edges and everything but got myself a <coughs> it's about 180 i suppose so it's coffee stand i quite like that on the back so i'll stick these on here and then i'm going to apply some varnish um i'm going to use acrylic varnish or acrylic wax but mod podge is fine too but i just want to bring them up because they're quite flat looking it's with my old printer so and i think we can just bring them up a bit And they can be drying, so I must probably have to put two coats, I expect. So I've got this one, acrylic wax. Okay, um, there'll be similar things that people do ask all the time. This is from the UK. Um, there'll be similar things in art shops. It's for ceiling paintings, like watercolour paintings. And I'll tell you what else is fantastic, um, is the Tim Holtz glaze. You know, there. Or even the... The medium that you put on that's great gel medium great matte gel medium medium or gloss gel medium any of that is brilliant Okay, leave that dry and I most probably put one more coat on once that's dry. Okay, you notice I go over it as it's drying, I go over it and I get any lines out very gently. Yeah. Okay, I'm saying it's hardly any lines there now. All right, and another coat of that. Now I'll bring it up, but it still looks matte. Not the same, matte medium's brilliant, or my podge. Okay, so while that's drying, I just stitched that around because that was dry too, the glue. So just all the way around there. I stitched these first, of course. Okay, and then I stitched all the way around and I changed a uh, zigzag atop there. I thought that looked nice with the fluty edge and then straight stitch all around there. And that'll be something nice like that that will go in fits these tags beautifully these aren't even done properly yet they've just been cut out and tea stained <clears throat> there you could most probably slip something in there as well so i'd have a bit of lace hanging down there and say so it would go in like that so what i'm going to do is actually i'm going to place that in there now on a clip because I'm starting to add a few things now so I know what's happening with the journal. I've got loads actually that I've done. But I think that looks nice there because that, mind you, we've got quite a big pocket there. I might put that somewhere else. I'm just thinking that is quite a lot going on, you know, in that area. Let's have a look. Um, oh, hold on. How about that one there? Cover that stitch in. Yep, that's good now. Yeah, well, that's perfect. 
and I'm going to clip that in. Okay. So that's that done. Let's go and have a look at the. Okay, so they're all dry now. Okay, and feel lovely. Backed. And then I'm going to, I've got these shell buttons here, which I thought would look nice on there. Okay, what I tend to do when I sew buttons on, I don't go from, well, I do go from the back, but I just make my hole from the front because then I can see exactly where I want it. So, um, about there, I think. So I'll just make a oh, little bit over, make a hole, watch your fingers to the other side. Okay, then I can see my hole the other side now. Normally. <laughs> oh, I love these so much. Sorry if I, um, you couldn't see what I was doing then. Oh. Uh, it's only because I couldn't see myself, so I needed to get a bit closer. <laughs> I can actually see the hole underneath now, so I do knot it once there and then. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Okay. And then I'll put the other one about to there, I think. Let's hold it away from me a bit. Make the hole. I'm doing it at arm's length, that's why I'm struggling a little bit. I usually put my head a little bit more forward than that. I'm not sure even there if you can see or not. I'm a left-handed sewer, did you see that? I'm actually both. I can do I can sew right-handed as well. Okay, so that's that. Now we'll do them all like that. I've done one already. There, so it's the most probably the only two that I'm using. I'll keep these for another journal. I'll put some I might put three on that one, three smaller buttons going across that way. Yeah. Let's see, you know, if there's smaller ones, I'll put more buttons on. That's okay. And leave them like that, or you could put it make them into a tag, but I think they look nice like that, so um, ink them up, oh yeah, just ink them up a little bit. Um, I quite like doing it over the, the wax, it's quite nice. And a little bit like that. Just, uh... Oh, another thing is, my heater does not like glue stick. If I put my things on the heater, it gets really crunchy and yet it doesn't, if I leave it to dry just naturally, that doesn't happen. I mean, it's all right now because I've, I've bent it, but it cracks terrible. So weird. I've never had that before. Okay, and there's those two done. So that's a pocket and two button cards, which is enough because I've got loads of stuff in it. You know, they're not. They're not that flat, so but okay, put them away. That's those done. 